Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I'm Jeff. Today is Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving. And it's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock. I've mostly been piddling around this morning, uh, trying to get back to answering some comments. And, you know, I'm just working all day. Sun comes down. I quit when the sun goes down. And then I usually um, upload videos for my camera, do the editing, uh, convert it, <laughs> and then upload it. And by that time, I don't know, it's like 8, 9, 10. Um, but yeah, I'm having a blast. So uh, another day, I think my sister is coming out. And I told her to take her time this morning because I was in no rush to do anything and there's no big projects and she might have seen last night's video and just isn't going to come out. <laughs> no, she has no problem being on camera. I'm just playing that up. Okay, well, time to get started and explain a few things from yesterday. I forgot to mention it yesterday, but those two stacks of tubs and boxes, that's what was in the tent. So that was moved out of the tents and into here and well because let's go look at the tent. So something else we did yesterday that I didn't really talk about was uh, during the rains we had rain for like three days straight and this old tent just is not as waterproof as it used to be and I might not have used all the stakes like I should have but anyway there's a tarp under the tent and the tarp under the tent had a huge puddle <laughs> in the front part. Luckily, it didn't get to the back part where my composting toilet is. So it's just, and the, so every time you stepped on the tent, it you stepped into the puddle underneath it, and it was just a mess. And as it turns out, it was time to get all of my tubs out of there anyway. So once we got the tubs out. We pulled the tarp out from underneath the tent, which goes a lot better with two people. And there's a couple wet spots on there, but I'm just letting it dry out. And then I'm not sure, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do about that if we're gonna move the tent because it's still pretty soggy in there. So we might just pull the tarp back under the tent and leave it up for a while. Or we might end up just having to move the tent, like, on the other side of that tree. Um, because it's still my poop tent. That's where I gotta go. Um, it's not, I really can't, if I take it inside, it's just, my composting toilet is just gonna be uh, infected with bugs, you know, within seconds of it going in there. And otherwise you got to put a lid on the bucket after every use until the next day. And then that's just not my style. So anyway, so that's what we did yesterday. We emptied all of those tubs out of the tent. We pulled the tarp out from underneath it. And then today I think we'll try to put it kind of back together. I've just got an empty bucket under the front part to uh, hopefully help it dry out a little bit. Okay, and so yeah, just piddling around this morning, I am now going to make some lunch. Not having a normal stove isn't all bad. I get to cook with some charcoal, <laughs> which I rarely do. I'm not one for spending money on charcoal just to cook with. But my sister brought this little tabletop grill up from Florida because she had it in storage just you know being prepared if you ever need to cook and so she brought that up for me and this is my second time using it so some smoked sausages are on the menu for lunch later i just want to add that these little tabletop things are pretty nifty i don't know how long they last and they're not all that stable and but you've got uh three heights you can these little bar things right there well right, you can put it on the top you can put it on the middle or you can put it right on the lip and get down closer and so I'm in the middle right now and they're popping and and cooking very cool yes 
the kitty is down for a nap. I think she wore herself out chasing the chickens around this morning. Oh, you silly little girl. Since I just hauled it out of the tent, I thought I'd give a quick update on my composting toilet system. It's been, I've just started on my third bucket. So it's going like 10 to 12 days per bucket, so not bad at all. Just for one person and just for number two. Uh, no number ones in there. And there's my supply of buckets and stuff. Um, still using the pine shavings that come in a big bag from Tractor Supply. Uh, that's buying me time to locate some sawdust, or I might just keep with the pine shavings. And I'm applying the pine shavings very liberally, so I could probably get two weeks um, out of this system if I really wanted to. So, and I still have it out in the tent because of the bug situation inside the mobile home. If I took that in there, it would just be infested <laughs> very, very quickly with cockroaches and beetles and flies and gnats and everything else that's in there. So right now, I am looking for one of those, uh, like, pop-up privacy tent things. So I've been looking online for them, but very few of them have floors. And the ones that do have floors, they just tie onto the tent thing that pops up. So uh, the bugs would still have a easy way to get in there. So I don't know, for me to be able to bring that composting toilet inside, I need to come up with some way to seal it off from the bugs other than uh, putting a lid on it because it's, well, if you've ever used one, you it, you know, the it the smell dissipates a little bit at a time. So if, it, if you leave the bucket open, you're not going to notice anything. But once you put the lid on, uh, for any extended period of time and take the lid off, then <laughs> you, then you get some smell. So, uh, so yeah, I'd like to bring it indoors. I have not figured out a way. I'm open to suggestions. I was thinking one of those, well, you know, they have those little spring loaded tents that fold up into a bag and you don't need poles and all that stuff. Uh, so I've been looking at one of those and then trying to figure out a way to seal it off from the bugs. Maybe some type of window screen uh, as the floor that's glued and taped to the tent itself. I don't know, but open to suggestions. Later. Hey there, dude. Welcome to Bobblehead Homestead. You're a big old beetle. Have fun.